an act of 1750, private citizen Miss Rebecca, come forward. Ah. Ooh. Sit over there. Stupid shame. Go to jail. That's a Go to the court. You are hereby remanded into royal custody and charged formally with the crime of smuggling. You will now enter a plea. Two years ago, you were seen boarding the trade ship the Liberty with a trunk full of finished iron goods. It was determined by the authorities at the time that you were a smuggler. Seems like you were arrested, your goods were seized, and you and your goods have been in custody these two years. Today you are being formally charged. How do you plead? Innocent? Innocent or guilty, which do you plead? Now, if I'm not mistaken, there were two witnesses uh, 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 giving testimony against the accused here. Who were they? I can't recall. Yes, yes, yes. You here in the blue, yes, and you here up in the pink, yes, you two. And then, sorry, right, sorry, right. come forward, come forward, you two come forward. Now, uh, I also, sit over there, if I'm not mistaken, there was also one individual, yes, you there in the back with the glasses, yes, who was testifying for the accused, so giving evidence yeah. of their support. Get over there. That's the witness stand, that's the person who's convicted. All right, let's see here. I believe you're witness number one, witness number two, and witness number three. What are your numbers? One, two, three. Wonderful. Now, if you recall, you came here earlier today and already gave your statement. We've written them down, so you don't have to remember what you said. You can simply read them aloud on paper. Understood? Not yet, not yet. <laughs> All right, the court session has now begun. Let's proceed. Witness number one, please step forward. We're pleased. Give your statement. I saw the accused boarding our vessel. Sorry, you say you saw the accused? Saw which the means you know what the accused looks like. What the accused? <laughs> <laughs> Please begin again. I saw the accused boarding our vessel with a trunk full of finished iron goods. Aha! Now, does this resemble the iron that you saw? Excellent! <laughs> Let the record don't go away yet. Let the record reflect this iron was recovered at the scene. This is the smuggled iron. Now, you said our best. Imagine that we enjoy the captain then, yes? Excellent, what is your name? Uh, captain London. Wonderful name. <laughs> Where's number two? Please step forward. Please read aloud your statement for the court this day. The accused knew me to be a Sorry, you say the accused knew you? Which means you know the accused. Which means you know what the accused looks like. What to the accused? <laughs> <laughs> you may begin again. The accused knew me to be a person familiar with their smuggling habits. Your Honor, she offered me 20 pounds not to testify. <laughs> you little briber. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming forward this day and not taking that bribe. Thank you. You may have a seat. <laughs> Witness number three. Please. Hold! <laughs> One, I haven't asked you to start speaking yet. Two, I haven't even asked you to step forward yet. Please sit back down and listen to instructions. Let's try this again, this time listening to instructions. Witness number three. Please step forward. <laughs> Please be loud your statement. Well, Judge, the accused cannot possibly be guilty for she was in my company loading the train ship, the scurvy dog, on the 24th of August two years ago. Ah, I see. So what you're saying is that you and this young lass were loading this train ship the whole day and therefore she had no time to go smuggle anything, is that correct? Excellent. Uh, now, you're certain she had no time to smuggle anything, so she was with you the whole day and you were with her the whole day, yes? She never left your side, you never left hers. Excellent. <laughs> now, uh, obviously, as you, uh, you said you're the only witness stepping forward to this, you're the only witness to this, yes? Excellent. So what you're saying is, if I this correctly, that you were alone with this young lass. Oh, the day, the entire day. That is what you're saying, yes? <laughs> yes, it is! I'm the last one! That's what happened. Yeah, it's quite alright to think I understand. Now, uh, I would be inclined to believe you, sir, if it wasn't for the fact that I happen to know that Scurvy Dog is not a train ship at all, is it? But a pirate ship, making you, and consequently you, a pirate. Are you a pirate? Are you a pirate? No. Are you a pirate? Yes, I'm a pirate! You're guilty of being a pirate? Sit over there! Confession! <laughs> don't for the pirate! Confession! Don't applaud for the pirate! I said don't! Alright, 
let's continue. <laughs> All right, then. What's number two? Now, you said this young lass attempted to bribe you, yes? Wonderful. Now, I would like to know a bit more about how that happened that day. So if you wouldn't mind, we'll do a bit of play on you. Uh, let's see. Uh, so since you know what she said that day, you can pretend to be her, and I'll pretend to be you. Does that make sense? All right. Now, this will represent the 20 pounds she tried to bribe you with. All right. Now, so she came to you that day and said what? Exactly. Begin. <laughs> Oh, oh heavens, you, you, you frightened me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who is it you were saying? <laughs> You're gonna smuggle again? <laughs> I don't like it when you smuggle, it makes me sad. <laughs> don't tell anyone. Are you trying to bribe me? <laughs> Are you sure? Things are not like bribing the main. <laughs> Well, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> well, what's interesting here is that uh, I was pretending to be you and I took the bribe, which means that you took the bribe. Additionally, you just handed me two shillings and four of you to the court, which means that you are now guilty of bribing oh. a judge and of being bribed. Oh. Guilty of those counts. Oh. Oh. Yes or no? Good captain, bad captain? Good. Bad captain? One of the bad people during election, your duties as captain, you're guilty of that charge. <laughs> 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 jury, prosecuting attorney, a defending attorney, and multiple rights and liberties you are owed and guaranteed under the law to ensure that you are protected under that law against someone abusing the system and sending you to jail for something you did not do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, the most important thing that changed between 1765 and now is what is known as the burden of proof. Now, in 1765, if you were accused of a crime, you were considered guilty of that crime until other people could prove you innocent, even if there was no evidence against you. Now, in your day and age, you are now, it is now reversed. So now the burden of proof is on the opposite end. So now you're considered innocent of any and all crimes until other people can prove you guilty of them. Does that make sense? Therefore, you cannot go to jail without evidence provided against you. Does that make sense? Yes. Excellent. I hope you've all learned very valuable lessons here today about the court system of 1765 <laughs> and your own. And I hope that you all understand the rights and privileges you now have. Now, who here is the flag bearer? Wonderful. Who could please go to the front? Grab a 